lovely. Want to take them out for a spin? Yes, please. You're witness to a motoring revolution. The Phantom Drink Carver is neither a car nor a bike. It takes its design cues from snowboarding and jet fighters rather than conventional motoring. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm in a hammock. Incredible. It took us uh, five or six or seven years, but uh, to really uh, make this finished carver as it is now here uh, took us about four, four and a half years. You can look at the carver now as the first of a new concept. In fact, you have had a motorbike and a car for about uh, 100 years. And now there is a technology which makes it possible that there is a new vehicle concept in between those two. And if you put 20 horsepower in a vehicle like this, you can make another version out of it. But if you put 200 horsepower in, into it, you can make a super sports car now out of it. It will always be a low volume exclusive vehicle and perhaps you never know in the future in five, six or seven years something else will come up. The Carver's dynamic vehicle control system allows the two rear wheels to remain planted firmly on the road. While the front wheel, together with the chassis, automatically banks into corners, giving a maximum tilt angle of... because you've got the steering wheel, you've got the gear stick here in the door, like a Formula One car, so this is like a little bit of everything I've ever driven before. If you can hear it, these things tiring. The only thing I'm afraid of now is getting back on the bike. <laughs> Incredible power to rate ratio, I mean, this yeah. car, if only every vehicle was as fun to drive as this. Connor, I think we have found something we can both agree on. At <laughs> last!